Hey everybody, it's Alexa from Fryman Farms and today I just want to talk a little bit about the few ground covers we have here. Uh, ground cover is a big thing for me. I'm trying to spread around the property because we don't like to spray we don't like to spray our weeds for you know, obvious reasons. We don't want chemicals and, and such around our property. So I'm working with what I have to, you know, kind of cover up the ground and make it harder for weeds to grow so I don't have to pick them because there's so much I'd rather be doing than picking weeds for hours a day. I just want to go over a few of the ground covers we have here that I'm just, I really love. So I'm going to start with this guy. It's called Sedum Album and it's a part of the succulent family. Um, it never really dies. In the winter it turns like this purplish color. Uh, you can see in there the purples and then in the spring and summer it you can see it's starting to turn back to green So it looks like a green blanket uh, kind of covering everything and um, For the most part it does a pretty good job at keeping most of the weeds at bay and uh, It's actually just really cool um, It feels soft and like well, it feels like a succulent um, Not only do they look great, they're super easy to propagate. All you need to do to divide this plant is pick one of these uh, arms that that comes off. Try to get it as close to the base as possible and just pinch so you end up with one piece. And then as you can see there are little roots coming off of it. Um, what we'll want to do is take a few of the very bottom pieces off until you have some stem exposed. And then maybe take a few more and then you can stick this right into a pot with dirt and water it and it'll become its own plant. And that's pretty cool and pretty easy if you wanna divide them up to kind of cover one place faster. So it does take quite a few years for it to spread. Um, it's pretty fast, but it's not, you know, not super fast, so this is Sedum Album. And then to propagate, like I said, all you need to do is clean the bottom of the, the stem off and uh, find a pot and just kind of stick that bottom piece in. And fill it up with dirt and give it a water and uh, you got yourself a new Sedum Album plant. So, easy peasy. Another sedum we have here that I actually just noticed this year. Um, for some reason, I don't know if it just grew and it's just getting big enough to notice, but in another bed we have this other sedum, which is also a type of succulent. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I mean, it has these, like, pink edges around it. Um, definitely loving it. So I've propagated a few of these. Uh, I'm going to definitely be putting this some places. It looks like it's growing pretty fast and it's growing over things. So I just got to keep it managed and it is a hardy plant that you can forget to water for a few days. It's not going to be a big deal. They thrive in drier soils. So, so yeah, here's this one. Same thing. If you want to propagate, you find a longer stem. You go to the base, and you snip, and then clear off the bottom few, stick it in a pot like we did, and you got a new one. Like a gray, silvery green. Um, and this is a very invasive ground cover, so if you want something covered quickly, um, you know, once this gets established, it's really, it's pretty dominant in any bed. It likes hillsides and ro kind of rocky soil. So if you have somewhere like that, this would be a good one and a pretty one. got, I think. Oh no, that's a weed. I 
that's it. Those are my favorite ground covers. Thanks for watching.